What's up guys? So you want to get stuff for free on Instagram or you just really dig a brand. If you want to be a social media influencer or be an affiliate for a brand online just to make some side income, here's a script that it came up with that's gonna win every single time. All you gotta do is just keep on watching this video. Let's get into it. All right, Dharma Nation, we are here having lunch, meeting up with a friend. I just got honked at, like major. Who was that? Ah! It's not really going my way today. How are you? I wasn't talking shit. I was talking good things about you, don't worry. I guess he's like uncoordinated. If the person who honked at me wasn't Ryan, then who was that? I'm not really having a good time this morning. What happened? I was just like, everything like that. And then my car ran out of gas. And Jade, like, she's sitting here waiting for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. The good note, I replied to all my emails. So thank you, Ryan. <laughs> What's up, Dharma Nation? I actually came back from lunch. It's actually the next day. But a little bit of background. My name is Jade. Welcome to my channel. I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm obsessed with helping you dominate social media. This is a question I get time to time on how to email brands. Like, how to talk to them. And how do you get them to not say no or reject you in your face? So... The format of this video is going to be simple. I'll go over some announcements, then the core script, and then I will go over some best practice tips. And if you want to stay to the very end, I actually have a live example of how I use the script and how it actually worked for a brand, just like last week. So if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to join the best fam squad on earth. We're going to dominate social media together and I just truly appreciate it. It really means the world to me. So. All right, so let's get into the meat, the content, the creation, the content creator. We're gonna get into before you message brands. I wanna like set the mindset for you guys. You have to understand when you're going to a brand, it's not like you're gonna get stuff for free and it's all fun and dandy. They want money from you. So a lot of the things I'm gonna talk about is a lot of mathematical knowledge, but I dropped out at school, so you don't really need that much math skills. You just need to compute, you know, you gotta give them a return on investment because they're investing in you. So if you don't have a strong following already, if you don't have good content, this might not work for you because you ideally need to supply something. You know, life is all about trades. So a lot of people expect shit for free, but you have to keep in mind, it's not helpful for a brand, nor are they gonna reply to you. Hey, okay, they want money. So we're gonna teach you how to make money. So this is the content. And a tip is you need a connection or referral. You can BS your connection. You could be like, my friend Bob connected me to this brand or be sneaky enough to go on LinkedIn, go to LinkedIn and find the CEO, find their sales manager, find their marketing guru put their name in there you could honestly be it doesn't really matter just make them familiar to your name and that you don't look like a stranger it's crucial though this is the part where you can set down their guard because the first five words is when they're going to be like delete the email or they swipe away if you're cold calling it tends to be the first 10 seconds before they like hang up and you don't want to be rejected that many times you're going to be rejected like in seven out of ten times but you know that's life so i say that to you know increase your chances of winning sale put a connection you know i know your friend bob or if you actually can talk to bob before you talk to michael who's the owner of the store that would be great now you want to skip to the chase don't be like my name's rebecca and i have an influencer instagram no you have to skip to the chase cut the bs and just say how can i add value to you guys or maybe just give a reason on why messaging them just just cut to the chase be like i want to help you i know i can help you i'll piece it together for you guys at the end so once you give a reason and you want also want to think about the math a lot of times people have problems charging themselves enough and more often than not people have problems charging way too high brands aren't going to pay you 100 bucks to post a picture unless they can see roi and they're really lazy if going to a brand that's smaller you don't need to be this like strategic I'm talking about people. I work with brands, um, you know, 2 million revenue. It's different for every single scenario. Before we go, I want to make sure I include a clip of yesterday's Ask Jade show where I had someone ask me. <gasps> oh my God, I deleted it. No. Okay, I'm going to put the audio clip of someone asking me how to charge correctly for a brand. I can't believe I deleted the clip. Okay. All right, now we're going to piece it all together. This is going to be your script, ideally. I'm going to pretend my name is Rebecca, and I'm from New Jersey, and I want to work with a jewelry brand, and I also make makeup videos. The role play I'm going to play. If you guys fill in your blanks, all right? All right. Hey, I'm Rebecca. I was connected by Robert, your CEO. I really like your message, and I wanted to help you and add value. Right now, I have about 102 fans that come to my content regularly. I see your products are 
10 to $20 average. I could easily bring $200 in sales with one post, 20 people times 10 is 200, you know what I'm saying? Would you be interested in doing a sponsorship slash collaboration? Or how can I make more content for you and you can post it on your own social to bring more revenue in? That's it, and I'm gonna show you, that was my live, I'm gonna blur out the text message from this brand. A little backstory, I just, for fun, I was just DMing brands to see what I could do with my account. And more often than not, they're like, Fuck you, but one of them was like, tell me more about what you had in mind. Um, so this really works. You have to intrigue them by the numbers, okay? People like numbers, people like money. You need money, not freaking followers. That was really weird. They're gonna ask you what you had in mind, be creative, I said, I, I pinpointed their weak points, which was not enough female content or female influencers is all male dominated. So they were sold on that. Um, I instantly got a like affiliate code and you could easily make money. I didn't take the offer in the end because I realized that the CEO was kind of, anyways. See, like ideally you want to work with brands that you believe in. It's not going to work if you don't believe in the product, you know, in the beginning. Um, I was just familiar with the brand. I reach out to multiple people all the time and I turn down a lot of people as well. You have to be familiar with your brand and what your audience likes. Because here's the thing, and this is the biggest tip. You need to sell them with the money, of course, but what makes more sense, you know, that, that was the ethos. Wait, shit, I don't know if I'm doing this right. That was the ethos, right? The logo sort of logic is the money. Like you can sell them on the pathos, the emotion, you know, the connection, but you need to sh sell it logically that your target audiences line up. For example, if they are a Supreme, if you can say to Supreme that you have the exact same demographic as their market, you know, their audience and their customers, sell them on that. You have a hundred more of those people. That's it, you have to line up the Fact that a brand's gonna approach you, you know, Daniel Wellington, a huge watch brand, like always damns people because they're desperate and they want people in their market and they know who they want to target. So if you can go up to a brand and prove to them that they line you, you line up in their graphic and their targeting, it's gonna help you long term. You don't just damn a brand to get money and to get free shit. Ideally, you want to ask for an affiliate code and you want to maybe get the product for free, of course, if that's helpful. Most brands are, you know, they're kind of stingy sometimes, which is okay. Uh, you want an affiliate code and you can do this via DMs or an email. I find the same return on investment. Um, they're both free. Just literally, if you're ever going to do this at scale, you need to do it every single day, a hundred people. It's a numbers game and a lot of people will say no. Uh, if you want to make affiliate marketing a whole time business, you could, and I highly recommend it. And that's the script I follow. I don't know if you, I actually don't want to say this is a script because it won't freaking work if you copy and paste for every single brand in every single industry. Every single industry has different pain points and different problems. You need to tailor it to that. So this is not a script. This is going to be your skeleton and just fill the bones, muscles and fat. And what, I don't even know what's in a freaking human body, but fill it in to what makes sense for you. That is crucial. Please don't copy and paste it for every industry. Congratulations to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, can you tell me if you were approached by a brand or if you want to be an affiliate? You know, what's your biggest problem as an influencer if you are one? If not, just comment below something you want to see next. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you so, so much. Thank you, Dharma Nation, for all the love and support. It truly means the world. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.